So I'm just going to go through all of the uh, white key major scales. So if you count those, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's just seven different white key major scales. And um, so I'm going to do a video on all different scales. So I'll do white key majors first, and then I'll do white key minors, and then I'll do uh, black key majors and minors as well. So if you count that, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's actually twelve majors, and then there's also twelve minors. Um, so I might even do a video with every single scale, but for now I'll just go through kind of the easier ones. Um, so the order I'll go in is the order of sharps. So say if you start on C, that scale has no sharp. So C major is just all my notes. Now there's this pattern where if I go up by five notes, so one, two, three, four, five, I'll get to G. The G major scale has one sharp. Now if I go up another five notes, I get to D. D has two sharps. If I go, I'll go back down to this E now. If I go up five notes from there. Now what I'm doing there is the first part of the D major scale has a sharp. So always make sure to just play that sharp as well. So A has three sharps. If I go up five from A, I get to E, which has four sharps. Go back down to this one. Go up five notes again, and I get to B, which has five sharps. Now the one scale that's been left out there is F. So F actually has one flat, so F kind of doesn't fit into this, this is called a circle of fifths. F doesn't quite fit into that kind of uh, circle because it's got just that one flat, so I'll do F at the end. Um, so might, you might be a bit confused as to why, you know, that pattern happens where you go up five notes every time. I won't explain the whole thing now, so just if you're kind of confused or want to know more, just uh, look up the circle of fifths. Um, it's quite kind of an important thing to know about in music. So I'll just go through the scales now, so I'll stop rambling on. So pretty much all the scales other than F and B major, all of the scales have the exact same finger. So once you know C major, you should be able to play D, E, G and A with the exact same fingers. So the fingers here are one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So it starts one octave lower. So make sure you're on middle C here and low C here. Those fingers in the left hand go five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So obviously, if you kind of know quite a bit about scales and you just want to watch this to figure out one particular one, maybe just fast forward a little bit. But if you're quite new to scales, just definitely stay for this part. So basically, what the hands are doing here is your right hand needs to play eight notes. You've only got five fingers, so you're gonna play three fingers and then go under and play the other five. Now make sure you're going under your hand and not over. So you want that little twist under. So three plus five makes up eight. Now with the left hand, you want to basically do the same thing, but it's opposite. So instead of going three and five, it's five and then three, because if you try twist after three, because your hands are kind of opposites, you don't, you're going to have a really awkward twist. So make sure you don't do that. Make sure you go all the way to finger one, because that's a strong finger, and then you twist over. So one thing that you could do to kind of get used to this scale is, this is similar motion when I play the same way, but this one I'm going to show you here is contrary motion. So I'll only do this uh, one scale contrary motion. So you start on C like that, you go to three, then you go under. together before you might just want to play that one because it can be a little bit tricky to do similar motion so with this you're it's imagine your left hand is already played okay and then you're just going to go your right hand's going normal but your left hand is now going backwards and they end up they end up using the exact same fingers there and the next step is to try con is to try similar motion so I'll just, I'll just play it quick and then slow so So it really slowly, that's right hand under, you get to G, left hand's over. So if, if you got that much right, then just keep going and you probably get the whole thing right. If you've gone wrong, just try and go back to the start. So now it's, now you get back to the A. Now this is the part where sometimes students go a bit wrong. Now make sure your left hand goes under and then right hand. You might 
just want to watch that a few times, but now we'll go on to the next scale, which is G major. So you can go basically up now. So you're going to start above and below middle C. So this scale has one sharp, it's an F sharp. Now notice it's the second last note of the scale. So if you go back one from G like that, you get to that F sharp. So this is F sharp, but up here. So that's the same finger, so. So I'll play the hands together one now. Just like that. So now I'm going to go to D. So I'm up five notes again. So I'm going to go back down here though. So I'm still above and below middle C. So here I'm going to keep the F sharp. And this is a key part. You always get to keep the sharp that you've just played if you're playing the major scale. So you're keeping this F sharp you already played, but you're adding in one more. And that one more note is actually the same pattern. It's going to be the second last note again. So you're going to play C sharp as well. If you go back one like this, you can figure out the new sharp because that will be the second last note. So it's this one. So F sharp, C sharp. So I'll play this here. So you're going to keep the F sharp, you're going to keep the C sharp. Now try and figure out what the next sharp would be, just before I show you. So if you're on A, it's going to be the second last note, so that note will be G sharp, but played up here. So your three sharps are this one, C sharp, F sharp, and G sharp in that order. So here you go with the right hand. tricky one to remember for some reason E major and B major are kind of a bit easier because the pattern's a bit clearer but this it can be very difficult to actually remember which is which here so remember you've got C sharp F sharp G sharp so when you get to this point the scale's gonna be a bit tricky it helps to say out the notes so A So we'll go down to this one. So on this uh, scale here, so you, if we go in the order that we started, so the first drop we had was F, next one was C, next one was G. So we got those three. Now we have one more. So see if you can figure out what it is. So second last note, it's going to be D sharp, but up here. So now you've got F, C, G, and D. So in the right order there. Those four. So the, a really good way to remember this scale is that you've only got one black note that you're not going to play. So that's the only one. There's five black notes, you're only going to leave out A sharp. So you've got the other ones. So E major tends to be a bit easy to remember because you've got this pattern here where there's two black keys, two white keys, two black keys, and then one white key at either end. So it's quite easy to remember. So here goes. And then we go five notes again, almost finished. So now we're on B major. So I'm going to play it here. I mean, you could play it there, but I'll play it up here. So I'm going to be still below and above middle C. So the right hand here is the same. So now one thing to notice is you've got one more sharp. So now you've just got all the sharps. So you had F, C, G, D. So you're going to add in the second last note, which is A sharp. So now you've just got every single sharp. So in the order, that's the order of them. So the only white notes you have here are B and E. That's a good way to remember it. So you got there. So 
left hand now. So with the left hand, this is a bit different. You're not going to start on five because if you do, you'll get a bit stuck with the twist. It's very awkward. So you're going to start on four. You're not going to use finger five. It's four, three. That's just like that. So that can be a little bit confusing. I find that a lot of students, they end up maybe getting confused as to which hand is different and then they play their right hand wrong, but it's just the left hand here. Um, okay, so that's all of the uh, scales with sharp. So there's one other scale now, which is F major. So this scale, um, the left hand is the same, but now the right hand is different. It's kind of like with B major. So Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to play F, G, A, B flat. Remember, sharp is when you went one note higher, flat is one note lower. So, so like that. So you're going to basically play the B flat and then go to C. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. So don't be tempted to accidentally keep going higher end up there you want to just end on four like that and then the left hand's the same so it's the same fingers as the other scale so the only difference with the, all the scales is the right hand in F major is different and the left hand in B major is different but every other scale has the exact same fingers uh, as each other so here it is together once more so quite slowly so there's no twisting until you get to here so then you twist over so your thumbs will be here and make sure you have the three here rather than four so you're gonna end on one here and four here and then one more time okay so that's all the scales now so um, I'm just going to go through all the scales now from C major one more time, so I'm not going to explain anything, I'm just going to play through them all. So if you're at a stage where you already know the scales, it might be helpful to just try and play through all the scales like this. So there's kind of two ways to do it, you can either go like I did there in the order of sharp, so C to G and so on, or else you could go from C and do D, E and so on like that. I'll just go in the order of sharp, so I'll start with C and go to G and I'll play F very last. Okay. of the scales I just kind of went to the very next one so it might be helpful for you to maybe write a list of the scales so C major G major D major A major E major B major and then F major just maybe write them out in that order and just practice playing them in that order so you can get used to like the order of the sharps and um, so hope that video helped with your scales so if you know all these scales already, then um, have a look at the other videos. I'll do one on the minors as well and the sharp keys.